My name is JP Lane, Specialist Retired U.S. Army. I'm competing here at the Warrior Games in sitting volleyball, wheelchair basketball, track, field, powerlifting, indoor rowing, archery, and I think that's it. So today doing archery was quite intense. Before going and taking every shot, literally I would just close my eyes and pray real quick for a couple seconds and then open my eyes and let everything else, the noises and everything fade away and focus on what I was there to do, which was shoot and it worked really well. I actually got to have my wife by my side and she would run down the range and grab my arrows and score my points and we did really well together as a team. She definitely was very encouraging and got me motivated for the next one. A lot of amazing athletes were out representing every branch. I was very fortunate to get into the finals going for the bronze medal. However, I got fourth place. My competition was strong today. They did a phenomenal job and it was a great opportunity. In 2011, I was blown up by a 200 pound IED that ended up penetrating my RG31, taking off both of my legs, amputating uh, my right one below the knee and my left one above the knee. My left femur snapped in half. My spine uh, dislocated from my pelvis when my pelvis snapped in half. My right arm snapped in half 90 degrees. My right middle finger was amputated, but who needs that finger anyways? My four front teeth were knocked out when my face hit the steering wheel and everything inside my torso was destroyed except for my heart and my left lung. So they I had to cut me open down my abs, open me up and go in and fix everything to put me back together, which totaled 28 surgeries. I was in a coma for a month and a half, hospitalized for a year after that in the healing process. And I never expected to be where I am today after all of that. The biggest factors that have helped me through therapy, physical therapy, uh, everything that I had gone through during all of that was having my faith strong and reminding me that I have a purpose here. No matter if I lost my legs or not, I still have a purpose here in this world. My family by my side encouraging me, challenging me, pushing me to be better and do better and get out there and try new things. And I'm very grateful that they did that because I wouldn't be the person that I am today without them. Having an event like the Warrior Games dedicated to all those who have served and been injured or ill and gone through something that they never expected to go through in their life and being able to not only overcome it, but realize they can do so much more and end up here at the Warrior Games is the coolest and most amazing event on planet Earth. The camaraderie here is like no other. It is uncontested. All of us know what service is about. All of us know what sacrifice is about. So every one of us understands what we're all going through or what we've all been through. And it's like a unstoppable bond of brotherhood and sisterhood that the moment you meet another athlete, it's like, hey, what's up? It's like you've been family since day one. It's amazing. I hope that any wounded veteran that would realize that they have a story to tell, no matter the pain that we've gone through, the suffering, the, the trials, Everything is for a reason. And you can turn around and tell the next person, hey, if I got through it, what's stopping you?